will be totally satisfied with my proposal. But it's a balanced proposal and uh, it's a compromise. And I do think that this is uh, good enough to be able to reach uh, an agreement both with the Council and with Parliament. You have had discussions with the Ministers of Home Affairs. Where would you say which colleagues um, moved the most? Where was the most progress? Can you no, you can't really say that because my proposal is really um, focusing on the real challenges that we have and that is uh, the irregular arrivals uh, and that is the failure on returns and that is the lack of solidarity and that is that we have to strengthen also the human rights uh, in migration and these are the things that I'm addressing in my proposal. German, German Minister for Home Affairs um, said he want to reach um, political agreement on certain aspects of the migration pact. Um, what aspects should he prioritize? Well, this, uh, you need to have a, a balanced proposal also on political agreement. And I know that I'm totally aligned with Minister Seehofer on this. So we are working close together on this. But you cannot pr um, say more concretely what certain aspects should be prioritized for the moment? Well, you have to uh, have a balanced proposal, so you have to include the solidarity and the responsibility because they are very much linked to each other. The first reaction to your proposal came also from Prime Minister Orban um, just the day after, two days after the presentation. He was criticizing the, the new migration pact. Um, do, are you any optimistic that you could achieve? an agreement with him? Yes, I am. Because I think that, of course, I'm not naive. Uh, we will not have a situation where all member states have the same views on migration. But I do think we can reach uh, the situation where they can all agree on the proposal that I put on the table. And of course, there will be negotiations. I mean, uh, that for sure, also with Parliament. But uh, yes, I'm optimistic. I used to say that the devil is in the details. But I should also say that the possibilities are in the details in my proposal. So they, I'm looking forward to the negotiations. And will you be suggesting to prioritize certain uh, points? Well, it's the presidency who we are in lead, but we are working very close together. For me, it's important that we have a balanced pr approach. So you can't just pick out uh, a few things and then leave the others out. You have to be both solidarity and responsibility together. Will it be a test for this uh, migration pact? How do you envisage this? Uh... I don't think that this first council is the real test, but of course I'm really much looking forward to listen to the ministers and have a dialogue with them. Uh -huh. And just a last question about the criticism of the uh, NGOs uh, uh, about the pact, that they, they say uh, Europe is becoming a fortress, and uh, how do you react to this uh, criticism? That is not true. This is very clear defending the fundamental rights. This is very clear that we protect the right to apply for asylum, that we do new legislation to avoid pushbacks and to make sure that uh, alleged pushbacks are being investigated. And also that we have this clear solidarity also for the search and rescue cases that are being disembarked uh, on European soil. So I do not agree with them on that point. And do you think we can reach a agree political agreement before the end of the German presidency? I think that we're also going to need a Portuguese presidency to finalize this. Okay, thank you very much.